morning students in this video also i continue the same exercise number 9.6 chapter 9 that is nothing but chapter 9 application of integrations reduction formula using the reduction formula we will continue the same exercise number 9.6 i recall the formula one more time what is the formula 0 to pi by 2 sin power nx into dx is equal to 0 to pi by 2 cos power nx into dx equal to n minus 1 by n n minus 3 by n minus 2 the numerator become what 1 3 5 five subtract the odd number so minus 1 minus 3 minus 5 like that going on denominator is what n n minus 2 n minus 4 etc that last number is ending with what 1 by 2 into pi by 2 for last video class i explained the sum also using the formula explain the sum so recall just recall the formula so we use when will you 1 by 2 into pi by 2 stop with 1 by 2 into pi by 2 when will you use this formula if n is odd n is even n equal to 2 4 6 etc suppose n is odd means nothing but what the same formula i will always apply it either cos sin power nx or cos power nx if n become means n is odd that is n is nothing but 3 5 7 means what formula we are applying n minus 1 by n into n minus 3 by n minus 2 etc we stop with 2 by 3 if n is even means stop with 1 by 2 into pi by 2 if n is odd means the same n minus 1 by n n minus 3 by n minus 2 n minus 5 by n minus 4 etc up to 2 by 3 this is the first formula suppose second formula if m and n are having the two integers sin power mx cos power nx are having the product sin and cos for the first formula either sin power nx or cos power nx either n is even or n is odd here second formula we are applying m and n both are even 0 to pi by 2 sin power mx into cos power nx dx is equal to n minus 1 by m plus n n minus 3 by m plus n minus 3 etc m minus 1 by m m minus 3 by m m minus 2 etc 1 by 2 into pi by 2 this formula only going to apply in exercise number 9.6 now i am going to explain now next say if n is odd so if n is odd means if m is any positive integer if n become odd number n is odd number m is either positive number or or sorry m is either odd number or even number if n is odd n n must be odd but m is what either positive either odd number or even number so what is the formula we are going to apply 0 to pi by 2 integral of 0 to pi by 2 sin power mx into cos power nx into dx is equal to n minus 1 by m plus n n minus 3 by m plus n minus 2 etc 2 by m plus 3 into 1 by m plus n next fourth one this formula also apply in the in this exercise for the last sum so fourth sum fourth formula 0 to 1 what is the limit 0 to 1 x power m into 1 minus x whole power n into dx is equal to m factorial into n factorial divide by m plus n plus 1 the whole factorial where m and n are positive integer based on the second third fourth formula this video class i am going to explain the sum sums for you now the same chapter 9 reduction formula exercise number 9.6 for the first part to fourth subdivision first part fourth subdivision what is the fourth subdivision 0 to pi by 6 we need the limit pi by 2 what is the question given 0 to pi by 6 sin power 5 3x into dx the last sum we explain what sin power 3x i see the third sum i explain sin power 6x sin power 6 into 2x here yeah, sin power 5 into 3x dx apply the same for same method only let we are using the substitution method after substitution method we want to change the limit also because what is the limit limit is 0 to pi by 6 but we formula we need what the limit is 0 to pi by 2 here also we need only x so we did the, the 3x is we get uh, using the substitution method let 3x is equal to theta 3x is equal to theta 3 into dx is equal to d theta now dx is equal to d theta divided by 3 suppose x is equal to what is the limit given limit is x is 0 to pi by 6 x limit is what 0 and pi by 6 if we convert in terms of theta means what if x is equal to 0 means theta equal to nothing but substitute instead of x is 0 3 into 0 theta equal to 0 similarly if x is equal to pi by 6 If x is equal to pi by six means what? Three into pi by six cancel three. One three two three such we get the limit is what? Pi by two. If x is equal to zero, theta equal to zero. If x is equal to pi by six means theta equal to what? Pi by two. Now we get the limit also in terms of theta we get the limit formula limit zero to pi by two. So what is the question? I rewrite the question here. The zero to pi by six zero to pi by six integral of zero to pi by six sine power five three x into dx is equal to zero to pi by two. 
sin power 5 theta because 3x is taken as what theta sin power 5 theta into dx is nothing but what d theta divided by 3. Now this 3 is taken as common that is nothing but what 1 by 3. 1 by 3 into 0 to pi by 2 sin power 5 theta into d theta. Now what is n? n is odd. n is odd. We using the formula because n equal to 5. n is odd. We apply the formula. What is the formula? 0 to pi by 2 sin power nx into dx is equal to. So n minus 1 by n. n minus 3 by n minus 2 into 2 by 3. The last step we need 2 by 3. So substitute the formula. So in 1 by 3 into. See the question. 1 by 3 into 0 to pi by 2 sin power 5 theta into d theta. 1 by 3 0 to pi by 2 sin power 5 theta into d theta equal to 1 by 3 into what is f i n n is nothing but what 5 5 minus 1 by 5 5 minus 3 by 5 minus 2 another term is what we are unable to substitute the next term because 1 3 another term is 5 minus 5 equal to 0 so we, we need that one so if we substitute the value properly means 5 minus 3 is nothing but what 2 5 minus 2 is what 3 we stop that one first and second term is such enough for you so that n minus 1 by n n minus 3 by n minus 2 we get the result 2 by 3 so because n is odd so if you substitute the formula properly we get 2 by 3 suppose n is even means we, we, we need what 1 by 2 into pi by we stop the answer 1 by 2 here n is odd means we stop the answer what 2 by 3 so so 1 by 3 into 5 minus 1 by 5 into 5 minus 3 by 5 minus 2. 5 minus 3 by 5 minus 3 nothing but what? 2 by 3. Now listen here. 1 by 3 into 4 by 5 into 2 by 3. So we 4 to the right. So you can see the calculation. 4 to the right. 3 5 are 15. 15 into 3 is what? 45. So we get the result of what? 8 by 45. These sums are asking in the 2 more question. See. 6 sum also same model. 5th sum I will teach afterwards. What is the 6 sum? 0 to 2 pi. What is the 6 sum? 0 to 2 pi sin power 7. Sin power 7 x by 4 into dx. Sin power 7 x by, x by 4 into dx. So here having there is no x. Instead of x having x by 4. This x by 4 is taken as a theta. Because here see the limit also. The limit is in we need 0 to pi by 2. But what is the limit is given? 0 to 2 pi only. Therefore we want to substitution method. Apply that. We are unable to directly apply the formula using the substitution method we change the limit as well as change the variable so x by 4 let x by 4 is taken as theta now how will you differentiate 1 by 4 take x by 4 is now 1 by 4 into x is differentiate we get what dx 1 by 4 into dx is equal to what if you differentiate theta is nothing but d theta this implies a dx is equal to dx is equal to 4 into d theta so instead of a x by 4 you substitute what instead of x by 4 substitute theta dx is what 4 into d theta now we change the limit. What is the limit given in terms of x? What is the limit is given? 0 to 2 pi. So if the x is equal to 0 means theta equal to what? If x is equal to minus theta also 0. If x is equal to 2 pi means what is theta? Theta equal to pi by 2. So now 0 to 2 pi. 0 to 2 pi sin power 7 in x by 4 into dx is equal to. What is the question? Already so do in the last page. So 4 into 0 to pi by 2 sin power 7 theta into d theta. Because dx is nothing but what? 4 into d theta. x by 4 is taken as theta. The limit is in terms of what? x in terms of theta is changed. The limit is what? 0 0 to pi by 2 is substituted instead of a instead of x is equal to 0 means nothing but what 0 by any number 0 x is equal to 2 pi means they cancel 2 pi instead of x you substitute uh, instead of x you substitute 2 pi what is theta so 2 pi by 4 is nothing but what pi by 2 so 4 into 0 to pi by 2 sin power 7 theta into d theta we follow the same so what is the n n equal to 7 n is odd so what is the formula the same one 0 to pi by 2 sin power nx into dx is equal to n minus 1 by n into n minus 3 by n minus 2 into n minus 5 by n, n minus 5 by n minus 4 etc 2 by 3 so we substitute the value so it is 0 to 2 pi what is that one 0 to 0 to 2 pi, write the question, I write it here, so 0 to 2 pi sin power 7 x by 4 into dx is equal to 0 to 2 pi, write the question, write it here, 0 to 2 pi sin power 7 x by 4 into dx is equal to, what, what 4 into 0 to pi by 2 sin power 7 theta into d theta, I substitute 7 minus 1 by 7 into 7 minus 3 by 7 minus 2 into see the third step, 7 minus 5 by 7, by 7 minus 4, 7 minus 5 is nothing but what, 2, 7 minus 4 is 3. So, depends upon the numbers. It depends upon the n. n we set up the condition. So, 4 into 7 minus 1 is 6 by 7. 4 by 5. 
Like again, what? 2 by 3. We do the calculation. We get the answer, what? 64 by 35. See that what? If you apply the, apply the formula properly, we get what? 2 by 3. Because n is odd. If n is odd, we stop with the 2 by 3. If n is even, we stop with the 1 by 2 into pi by 2. So, formula is very must for you. Now, question number 5. Question number 5th subdivision. First part, 5th subdivision. So, 0 to pi by 2. Here, having the Two variables, sin and cos. Sin square x, cos power 4x into dh. Up to it, I taught the sum what? Only one term, either sin or cos. n is even or n is odd. As well as using the substitution method, we apply. For 5 and 6, see that one. Fifth sum having what? 0 to pi by 2. Sin square x, cos sin square x, cos power 4x into dh. Having the sin term as well as cos term. m equal to 2, n equal to 4. m is nothing but 2, n equal to 4. Both are even. We are going to apply the formula. Now what formula? 0 to pi by 2, sin power m into x, cos power n into x, dx is equal to n minus 1 by m plus n. n minus 3 because having the 2 naught 2 power m and n n minus 1 by m plus n n minus 3 by m plus n minus 2 etc 1 by m plus 2 into m minus 1 by m m minus 3 by m minus 2 etc into 1 by 2 into pi by 2 because odd even even means to stop with what 1 by 2 into pi by 2 now listen now now i equal to uh, substitute the formula i equal to 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 by 2 plus 4. 4 minus 1 by 2 plus 4. Because what is the first one? M minus 1 by M plus N. M minus 1 by M plus N. So, 4 minus 1 by 2 plus 4 into another one is what? N minus 3 by M plus N minus N. M plus N minus 2. So, M is 4. M is what? 4. N we take M equal to 4. 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 by, sorry, M is 4, 2. Here N is what? See? See, M equal to 2 n equal to 4, go through the formula, n minus 1 by m plus n, n minus 3 by m plus n minus 2, etc. Stop with what? 1 by 2 into pi by 2. Now substitute the integration in i means what I think but the question i equal to, instead of a, what? n, n equal to what? 4, 4 minus 1 by m plus n, m plus n is what? 2 plus 4 into n equal to what? 4, 4 minus 3 by m plus n minus 2. 2 plus 4 minus 2. Here itself what, what we get the second step it will itself. 4 minus 3 is nothing but what? 1. 1 by 2 plus 2 minus 2 cancel we get 1 by 4. That is if we substitute m equal to 2 also get 1 by 4. m equal to we substitute next step we get 1 by 4. So we stop it. The first step, second step. Go to the last step. m minus 3 by m minus 2. m is what? 2. 2 minus 3 by uh, sorry, m minus 1 by m. So, m is what? Y, 2, 2 minus 1 by 2 into last step is what? Pi by 2 because we get, we need the step what? 1 by 2. We, which one is we substitute here? Substitute m minus 1 by m. m minus 1 is what? m equal to 2, 2 minus 1 by 2. Here also we substitute m. m equal to 2 substitute into 1 by 4. So, we substitute the first and the first step as well as here having, we get the same step we are having repeating. So, we say n minus 1 by m plus n, n minus 3 by m plus n minus 2, etc. m minus 1 by m. m equal to what? 2. 2 minus 1 is nothing but what? 1 by 2. So, 2 minus 1 by 1, 2 minus 1 by 2 into pi by 2. What is the result now? Get 4 minus 1 is nothing but what? 3. 3 by 6 into 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 into pi by 2. So, you substitute all the value. Simplify the answer. We get what? Pi by 32. Cancel the value. So, calculation part is very easy for you. Pi by 32. See the seventh sum. We are also having the sine and the cos, having the two variables, sine theta as well as cos, two terms. See the seventh subdivision. So, 0 to pi by 2, sine cube theta into cos power 5 theta into d theta. Last sum, we I taught the both are what? Even number. Here, both are what number? Odd number. N, N, N also add, M also add, N also add. Always first word is taken as M, second power is taken as Sine power is taken as M, cos power is taken as N. So, solution M equal to 3. See, M equal to 3, N equal to 5. Both are odd term. Both are odd term. So, depends upon the odd term, you apply the formula. Integral of 0 to pi by 2, sine power Mx into cos power Nx into Dx is equal to. Both are odd means, what is the formula? N minus 1 by M plus N. Formula is very much. These are asking in the two more question. Go through the formula. N minus 1 by M plus N into N minus 3 by M plus N minus 2, etc. 2 by M plus 3. 
1 by m plus 1, 1 by m plus 1. Now apply the formula 0 to pi by 2 sin cube theta into cos square 5 into d theta. Both 3 and 5 are odd number. So apply this formula. N instead of n, 5. Now 5 minus 1 by 3 plus 5, 3 plus 5 into here n equal to what 5? 5 minus 3 by 3 plus 5 minus 2 plus 1 by the last term is what? 1 by 3 plus 1, 1 by 3 plus 1. So 4 become next day 5 minus 1 is nothing but what 4 by 8 here what 2 by 6 into 1 by 4 next what is the answer we get you so simplify factors you get the result 1 by 24 so formula is very very must for you thank you children